So let's have a look see at the internal components of the hub on a free hub type XO assembly. I have taken apart one side already, everything's being cleaned, so this is just a show and tell of what's inside. The axle is gonna eventually slide out like this. And I've got my fresh new lubricant on it. On this side, come on in a little closer, let me just lower the camera. Oh, by the way, I like working on on the ground on a washing machine tray exactly as you see because I don't want to lose the little bearing balls bouncing around in the shop or wherever looking for it for hours whatever okay so I want this tray on the ground when I'm working on it so and this is how the axle looks like after it's been taken out the this is the cone this is the counter nut on it there's a thin washer between them in other words, we've got on the axle a cone that just spins on. That's not any different from a design from 1950s, something like that, whatever. 1905, could be, whatever. So, this is the cone. It just happens to be shaped like so. Oh, the difference, other than the geometric design how the threaded axle and the threaded cone and the counter nut and everything fits together the advance that's been made since 1920s whatever this is a really old design is advanced in materials especially metal alloys so let's see yep that's right so that's how it's gonna go together these components and you're gonna have to leave enough of course so that it mounts into the frame flawlessly ideally the same amount same amount on both ends that you measured or looked at or counted the threads on before it is taken apart okay so I counted mine on this one so when it's 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 taken apart with a skinny 15 millimeter range which could be a bicycle range but it doesn't have to be I've got I've got this automotive wrench that's been kind of ground skinny here at the front and just a normal 17 so 15 and a yeah 15 and a 17 mil there the two of them combined put the 15 on this one and that's how you tighten these two together you know counter rotate the two of them that's also how it comes apart one side comes out and that's it now a couple of seals on this type of assembly. One seal is underneath the uh, uh, free hub here. Where do I put this one so it doesn't get dirty? Nowhere, because it's been cleaned and I have the finished grease layer on it and I don't want to put it down anywhere. So what's on the inside, maybe lift you up a little bit, you don't see too much, but there is a black seal that I can fold back a little bit with my tweezers which are needed of course for this type of operation so I just show you there this end of it so that's a flexible seal that doesn't just come out as is when you pull out the axle so I have exactly nine bearing balls that you can see embedded in grease and I'm running in this cone surface on it to distribute the grease evenly like so or nine. Oh yes it's so much better and smoother than previously on this side I'm gonna get you off the tripod oh this is the amount of old grease that came out the manufacturers were not really it's not enough grease on it okay now you don't want to be overfilling this space here where the where the bearing balls go with grease overfilling doesn't help it either but there has to be enough so what we've got here for this side is a bunch of bearing balls that get lifted up from the carpet get wiped on a 
super clean paper towel that doesn't leave paper fibers behind and then get dipped in grease fresh one that's uncontaminated coming out of the tube and it's gonna be spread in there and the bearing balls are gonna go in without any lint or whatever so from here they go there and they get blown off as well a little bit just to speed your mouth and then they get placed there so I don't want excess lint cat hair crud flakes of skin whatever on it this is not ideal maybe but uh, you know this works for me okay cuz I I know where I place the tools so this skewer of course goes through the hollow axle at the end so that's how that works and oh I forgot there is a double seal here so on this cone here on this cone here eventually this seal needs to be mounted so that it is yeah so that it's let me see no other way around there something like this uh-huh yeah all right so it's gonna be going together something like this when they are together but of course this needs to be tightened first with the wrenches and then this seal goes on it and then there is a dust cap ah, I'm dropping everything today and there's a dust cap that of course cover covers metal dust cap that covers this so this dust cap will be going there it's fairly straightforward okay so match the shapes together that's how they go together this metal dust cap just comes off with prying it with a maybe not screwdriver uh, something skinny such as a drywall putty knife okay some such thing and it has a black o-ring somewhere that goes there underneath or whatever over this lip here and that black ring looks like this so everything's being cleaned and that's how this is held in place with the friction that's generated between this ring and the yeah dropping everything and the outside sorry the inside of this little raised rim here okay so that's how these go together fairly straightforward so that's what's inside it wasn't wet it's not rusty it's there's no visible deformation or everything it's been wiped clean it's been blown clean with compressed air so it's super clean I know with this carpet it doesn't look like that cleanliness is maintained but it is I'm I'm really a stickler for that so those are the components that go inside I have to get back to work